Hi again. Today we're going to focus on the books of Richard Stark, which is the pen name of Donald E. Westlake, uh, a really prolific author. Uh, under his real name, he wrote um, numerous books, including some quite funny ones. Uh, Check out The Hot Rock, um, The Bank Job, uh, both of which were filmed, by the way. But uh, just as Richard Stark, uh, he wrote the Parker series, which is over 20 books. And it start, the, the first one in the series, which originally was called Hunter, but later retitled Point Blank, starts with Parker walking into New York City um, looking for someone. And the guy he's looking for is um, Mal Resnick, who they had worked together on what Parker calls a score, a robbery, an armed robbery, um, a rather major one, uh, put together a gang. And it went off successfully. And then um, Resnick double crosses the gang, um, leaves Parker for dead and scoots to New York, where he uses the money to get back in the good books of organized crime, <clears throat> which in the books is called The Outfit. So Parker catches up with him, gets his revenge, but The Outfit doesn't recognize the debt. So basically, uh, he's, he's got a grudge against The Outfit. And in the second book, which is called The Outfit, he uh, contacts all his fellow armed robbers and um, encourages them to hit outfit targets, which they kind of tend to ignore, even though they're quite easy targets, casinos and things like this, um, because, um, you know, they're all fellow criminals. But he, he says, <clears throat> um, I'll get the blame anyway. They know I'm coming for them. So, you know, have at it sort of thing. And the books go from there. Parker is um, a very amoral character. He uh, lives by robbery. He is, in every sense of the world, an outlaw. He, he doesn't have recourse to the normal um, uh, criminal justice system at all. He doesn't use the police to resolve his problems. Um, and he, uh, he can be very violent. He, he will kill um, he doesn't kill uh, for fun, but uh, if it needs to be done in the furtherance of his um, crimes, he will. Uh, one of the books, um, Flashfire, opens with the uh, sentence, when the phone rang, Parker was in the garage killing a man. A uh, great opening for a book and uh, kind of um, sums up the character, you know, that uh, he, he is a killer, he's ruthless, he's uh, just really self-centred, uh, you know, his, his own uh, well-being is his primary concern. Um, Point Blank was filmed uh, with Lee Marvin as Parker, uh, which on the, on the face of it was ideal casting. Um, the problem was Lee Marvin brought in John Borman as the director and uh, between them, they, in my opinion, they made a mess of it. Um, the, the film has a dreamlike quality. A lot of people think, well, maybe the whole thing's a dream. Um, the, it's um, got a, a strange timeline, you know, it's non-linear. Um, they were both delighted with it and it's become something of a cult classic. Um, but I just didn't like it at all. I didn't think it was faithful to the book or the character at all. And it was just a mess. Uh, then um, the next film uh, of, of one of the books was The Split, which starred Jim Brown. Uh, uh, by the way, point blank, um, Parker was called Walker. And in uh, The Split, he was McLean. And... Uh, Jim Brown over here, uh, you know, he was good in the part. He, he could do it okay, but that's all we knew about him, really. But obviously in America, he was a massive uh, football star. You know, he, he, he was really iconic.
character. Um, Donald Sutherland was in the film as well uh, as one of the gang. He's recruited uh, as being the firearms expert in the gang. Uh, not a bad film, particularly for the time. You know, it was a good caper film. The next one was The Outfit, which the second book, which I, I talked about, where he goes against the outfit targets and it stars Robert Duval, and this time his name is Macklin, and he uh, teams up with one of his old cronies, played by Joe Don Baker, and together they uh, go after not only the um, the uh, money, but also uh, some, some of the um, big names in the outfit uh, as a revenge. Then after that... Um, they remade Point Blank as Payback, starring Mel Gibson, and this time his name was Porter. Very faithful to the book, uh, very violent, um, great uh, performance by Lucy Liu in it as well, and um, it's a really good film and I enjoyed it. And then um, finally, uh, I, I think I said his name was Porter in that, and then finally, they actually gave him his real name and uh, they made one of the books uh, as uh, Parker, just called it Parker. That, that book was Flashfire. And they, um, it's a robbery set on um, uh, Palm Beach and uh, pretty faithful to the book. Uh, J-Lo stars in it with him. Um, uh, Jason Tatham is excellent. Uh, you, you know, he, he's been in some bad films, but he, he never gives a bad performance. And uh, he, he's, he's good in the character. Then uh, that's it for the films so far. I, I, probably they'll make more of the books into films, I'm sure. Uh the books are worth reading. That they're short. They're very much like the um, the hard boiled books um, that came out in in, in the fifties, the forties and fifties. Um, you know, with Private Eyes and things like this, cops as as the heroes. Um, short, sharp sentences. Um, very, um, ve very uh, violent and uh, easy to read and you know quite enjoyable i i certainly i've read them all and i've enjoyed them all and uh, as i say some of the films are well worth seeing as well